what's going on ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to bitcoin daily in today's video we are doing a full market analysis on what's been going on uh throughout the week what's going on with bitcoin right now um what trade setups we're looking at for the weekend and we're going to do a recap of what happened throughout the week So um, before we begin, as always, make sure to like and subscribe, hit that notification bell and drop a comment. Let us know what you think of these videos. Let us know if you have any other ideas or any special requests on videos that you would like for us to make. Um, we're always happy to hear those ideas and uh, make some videos to help you guys out. Um, so let's jump right in, y'all. Um, so it is Friday today, the, uh, December 4th guys, 2020, it is almost the end of the year. Bitcoin is at all time highs and we're just, uh, patiently waiting here for this new all time high, right? So, um, let's look at coin market cap. Like we always do, uh, and just, you know, kind of take a look at a few numbers here. So the first thing that we're looking at is that market cap, as you guys can see, it is currently at $556 billion. Um, and um, Bitcoin's dominance is currently at 62.8%. All right. If you go down here and look at what's been going on in the market, you'll see that uh, we're currently down about 2.5% today. But over the last seven days, we're up about 10%. Um, same thing with Ethereum, down about 5% on the day uh, over the last seven days, up 12.7%. XRP is down 10% today, so that's a big faller today. Um, but it's pretty much flat on the week. Um, Litecoin down 7% today, but it's up 17 on the week. Bitcoin Cash down 2 today, up 6 on the week. Chainlink down 7 today, up 3.5 for the week. Um, Cardano up uh, down seven today, but it's up uh, 10 on the week. Uh, Polkadot down five, but it's up seven on the week. And Binance, what, Bi how did Binance make its way up here, right? Um, so let's jump into the charts, y'all. See what we're looking at here, what we got for this weekend. Um, so as you guys can see, we're still just consolidating in this range. Um, we have the same pattern that we've been looking at, right? So we have this uh, this big impulse move up, and then we have this consolidation here. Um, so we're just kind of waiting here. Uh, you know, I know a lot of people are waiting for something to happen here, um, but if you look at this pattern, it's a bull flag, right? So we got the impulse move up, and then um, the consolidation after right with uh with lower volume and all that um we have an uh, descending uh resistance zone up here um and you know we're just kind of bouncing around here so um pretty much right now we're just kind of waiting you know it's, it's just a waiting game i do believe we're gonna break this and and i i think that uh this bull flag is gonna lead is what's gonna lead us to the break of this all-time high um, so we just got to be patient because there, there is a lot of sellers here. There's a lot of resistance. Um, so we just got to keep fighting through that for now, um, until we have enough momentum to, to break up. Um, so once, once we break up, then we should probably shoot up to 21. I would imagine, um, since there's really, you know, this is just kind of open ground here once we get up there above 20. So, um, so that's just kind of what we're watching right now, what we're waiting for um, for the weekend. We're basically looking at this range that we're trading within and trying to catch something, you know, e either the bottom of the range or a breakout. Right. So um, let's let's hear. Uh, let's see. Let's get the range. Let's draw the range here. No, I don't want this. Um, so basically, I'm looking to enter here. Uh, probably trades within this current range where it's at between 800 to about 700 right so that's kind of where we're looking oops boom let's draw that there 
right? So we wanna we wanna really look at the bottom of this range here and try to figure out where you know we want to enter. So um, basically, you see that we've tested this down here several times. We've we've been down here one, two, three, four, five, six, uh, seven, eight, nine, ten, right? So we have a lot of candles that have been bouncing here. So we know this is a pretty strong support. Um, now, what we want to do here is kind of buy in this in this general area, right? So um, the way I like to buy is I like to buy once it's tested the support and then it's kind of bounced back up. So that's kind of what we've been watching here. We want to see a bounce here. We don't want to see this continue down. If it continues down, it's not really something we want to uh, get into because it's just it's not it's not going to have that momentum we want. So we want to see this bounce back up here on that bounce up. That's what we're looking to, to get in. So uh, the way I'm playing it right now is uh, just how it is right here. It tests it's tested this range and then now it's bouncing back up. So I want to get in currently pretty much where it's at right now at that 18,800 range, right? 18.8 um, K. That's kind of the range I'm looking to enter uh, and I do have an active trade right now. So my stop is probably going to be around uh, the bottom of this range. Um, so currently this is at 600. I'll probably put it more towards here. That 700 range, right? So that's where I'll have my stop loss. Um, and if we break through that, then I'm either waiting to for it to bounce back up into this range and then look for a, a entry opportunity within this range again on the bounce up or I'm looking down here at these, right? So uh, I'll be interested in these to see if these hold here, 18.5, uh, uh, and you know the low has been basically 18.1 here, and 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 then you of course have 18,000. Um, so that's kind of what we're gonna be watching here this weekend. Um, as you guys know, over the weekends, there's, there's not always a lot of volume, a lot of volume, but over the last few weeks, we've had a lot of volumes on on uh, Friday nights, uh, Saturday and through Sunday. So um, so we're definitely taking trades and we're looking to make some profits here over the weekend. So the first trade that we're looking at here is this 18.8 thousand uh, trade, right? So we're looking to take entries here and write it up. Um, the first target here is definitely 19,000. Um, so that gives you a $200 profit on your first target. So you can have either a $50 to $100 stop loss. Um, we're using $100 stop loss. So as you can see, um, you know, we have a two to one risk reward on that first, uh, that first area where we're taking profits. Um, that next area is probably going to be, we'll be looking at the 19 one to 19 two range. Um, so it just depends how how when it breaks through how it acts if it continues up really strong or if it starts struggling that we will take some profits uh, before it goes back under 19.1 um, and if it does continue up so we'll be taking 19.2 um, then that next range is going to be like that 19.4 to 19.5 range uh, which is also this uh, descending resistance here so we'd be looking to uh, basically take profits right around this this range right uh, it'll be 19.4 to 19.5 we'll be looking to take profits within there um, and then if we break through this then we're looking at 19.7 uh, through 19.8 basically so we want to have the majority of profits by the time we get to this area of 19.8 um, because of the strong rejections here at 20k right um, so that's kind of how we're playing uh, this position right now. Um, our other entry that we're looking at would be basically uh, I would want to see a break of this, right? So it would probably be a break above this right here. Uh, so this is 19,632. Um, so it'll be 19,632. It'll be a break above that. Now, the thing with this that you do have a lot of resistance up here. So that's why I'm not playing that break too big. Uh, if I do set entries here, 
they're going to be a lot uh, a lot tighter and, and smaller positions with low leverage. Um, and then I'll be looking to take profits every hundred dollars. So that means that my stop loss will be around fifty dollars. I'll be looking to take profits, uh, you know, at 197, 198, etc. So, um, so yeah. And then my third and last entry here is going to be above 20K. So that's the ultimate one. If we get this breakout uh, all the way to 20 and above 20, then I'll be selling all my positions. Once we break above 20, then I'll be re entering with new fresh positions there because I expect a momentum to just continue taking that up. Um, so that's how we're playing Bitcoin uh, over this weekend. Um, and for now, you see this position that we entered in that eight, that 188 area. You see that that's kind of going up right now. So um, if you once you guys watch this video, if we're still in that range, uh, definitely look to take uh, entries there. So let's go ahead and move on to the next one. Ethereum, as you guys can see, Ethereum has a very, very similar pattern, basically the same pattern here. Um, we have the impulse move up. Then we have a uh, rejection and consolidation here at the highs. Um, and we're just looking for a breakout. Uh, so the pattern you see, this is a bull flag and it's the same, basically the same pattern here. We're within this pennant going up and down, just consolidating here on lower, uh, on lower volume. Um, so we're looking kind of the same type of entry here. We're looking to enter around that between that 580 to 585 zone and it's currently at 581 so this is current currently an entry you see here that it went all the way down to 556 and a bounce back up that's kind of what we're looking for for the entries here um our first um our first take profit area here is going to probably be around that 590 range um so that means we have about a five dollar stop or if you want that first uh, take profit range to be 600 then you could have a $10 stop. So it just depends on your risk tolerance, how much risk you're willing to take on this position. Um, we're fine with taking that $10 risk and, you know, just holding till till 600. Um, and then if, and then that'll be our, our original position. Then our next one, our next target here will be 610 and then 620. And then above this 625 range, um, we're looking to take fresh positions or you could also do it above 620 but we've had uh, some fake outs already we've had two fake outs above that um possibly three so if you want the safest entry breakout entry here then above 625 that'll be a fresh high um and that that's something that you guys can enter um so then the that's basically our two entries you can also use a 600 as an entry but there's so much consolidation there. We're not taking that entry. We're not using 600 anymore. We're looking for a fresh breakout or looking to buy down here at this 580 zone. Um, if we continue down, then uh, we have this 50 day moving average right here, which, which is this yellow one. It's right at around that 560 uh, range. Um, and then after that, you know, 550 is definitely another support and then 540. And then probably down to 520. So right now for the weekend, we're looking at the 580. Um, we'll, we'll be looking at the 600 and 620 uh, trades, basically. So um, we're watching these now. You can see right now they're happening right now as we go over these. So we just kind of got to kind of wait and see what happens. Um, we definitely want to enter on those bounces, though. Um, and, you know, go from there. So let's move that out the way. All right, let's take a look at uh, Bitcoin Cash. As you guys can see, not much has really gone on after that drop. Once we had this drop here, it's just kind of consolidated here, right? And it hasn't really, uh, it's been indecisive, hasn't really chosen a direction to go in. So if we were looking uh, to for a trade to enter here, we're probably looking at this 580, at its 280 range, I'm sorry, um, 280 range as a support entry here. But again, we want to see it tested and we want to see a bounce. We don't want to just buy it as it falls down. Um, and then that next entry will be above 300. Um, above this 300 range is going to be the next, that next breakout entry. And then above 320 is that next, next breakout entry um, for Bitcoin Cash. 
So those are the plays that, that uh, we're looking at 280. Um, and if it were to drop below 280, then two, 260 uh, to 255 zone is that next support um, that you could play if it were to, to make that kind of a drop. But uh, other than that, this, this 280 and then above 300 is uh, the entries that we're looking at and we're watching in Bitcoin Cash. Um, Litecoin, as you guys can see, Litecoin is pr pretty much uh, replicating the same pattern as Bitcoin and Ethereum right now. Um, as you see, money has been flowing out of the market as of recent. Um, so what, what we're watching right now is this $80 range, right? So this $80 is a, there is some, uh, resistance here. So we expect buyers to possibly come in here. We're at 81 right now. So we would like to see a test of this. And it's also where the 50 day moving average is. We would like to see a test of that 80 and that 50 day moving average if it up if it holds up and it bounces right back up um that's where we're looking to take entries so that 80 dollar mark is where we're looking to take entries with uh litecoin and then that next area is probably going to be above these highs right so the high here was 94. um so we'd probably take something above we, we'd be willing to take something above 90. You just have to be wary of these uh, fake outs up here. Um, so maybe a safer play will be like 92 um, or the safest play is going to be probably above 94. So it's just up to you on, and depending dependent on your risk tolerance and how much risk you're willing to take. Um, but yeah, once once it breaks through there, then that, that first target is 100. Um, and I expect a lot of sellers to come in over here. So you have to be ready to uh, to be selling. I would be selling uh, on the way up and then have new orders above that 100 range. Um, so that's kind of what we're looking at for Litecoin uh, XRP. As you guys can see, we're kind of looking at the same thing here. Um, we had this huge takeoff and then we've had a pullback and consolidation, right? um so here we had today we had a pretty big drop here uh it dropped all the way down to almost it dropped to about that 55 cent range uh it's currently where we're at right now um so i mean this 55 cent range is a possible entry um i haven't taken any entries here on it um that next range that you could enter on is above 60. so if, if i see a bounce here and i see it heading back up and above 60 then it's possibly something i might consider entering however right now if we look at this at the current you know bull flag pennant that we're watching here we are currently at the bottom of this range right um so this 55 cent range is not only the bottom of this range that we've been tracking here but it's also a pretty even number so uh it it could be a good support here. So what we like to see is um, kind of a drop how it's done here and bounce right back up and over it. Um, that's an entry that you could definitely take here at 55. Um, and then I'd be looking to take profit at 60 and above 60, you could be looking to take uh, fresh new entries if we continue above that. Um, then you have to be careful here on that 62 to 64 range because that's where th this uh, descending resistant currently is. Um, so then after that, you'd be looking at 70 cents, a 70 cent breakout uh, for an entry if if it were to continue up. So those are the the, the trade setups we're looking at for um, XRP Ripple right now. Next, we got um, Chainlink. Chainlink, uh, not much going on right now it's dropping we've dropped below that 13 dollar uh mark uh which was a support so i'm expecting a drop probably to that 1250 to 12 dollar range as you guys can see here uh 1250 look at all the act the price action there and 12 dollars price action there so that's the range where i'd be looking to enter on a support entry and then for a breakout i'm looking for a bounce above this 13 dollars right so a bounce back above 13, that's a possible entry. And then you're taking profits every 50 cents with Chainlink. Uh, so 13.50, 12, 
I mean, 1350, 14, 1450, 15. All right, so that's what we're looking at there with Chainlink. Tezos, not much going on. It is coming back to this 220 area where we've pointed out before. Um, so 220 is where we look for a support entry here um, for a breakout, uh, probably above this high here, this past high here. So above 255 is where we'd be looking for an entry there on a breakout. Um, for Neo, let's see, Neo has it has been slowly grinding up. Um, so it has been posting uh, what looks like lower highs and higher highs. Um, so here we're currently at 1750. We'll probably be looking for an entry above these highs at this moment. There's really no other entry here that I like. Um, probably looking above $20 for that entry. So that's the only entry I'm looking at in Neo, um, an entry above $20 for a breakout entry. Uh, if we do continue pulling back, then maybe the 1650, that $17 to 1650 area could be a possible entry there. Um, but I don't think that we're, we'll be entering that. Um, let's take a look here at Bitcoin futures. As you guys remember, we had uh, this drop off last week when the market closed, which kind of looks like what's happening today, right? With the market overall, um, it's not this crazy, but we have kind of a sell off here, a Friday sell off, which we had the same type of Friday sell off on last week. Um, and then, you know, we we took off. So um, that's why I'm saying that we could get some, um, you know, a push up. But we have to keep in mind that we have this gap here. So remember, we spoke about this gap and I said that Bitcoin likes filling uh, these gaps when when they're, you know, in here. Um, so uh, remember, on Monday, I said that we might have to fill this gap in order to continue up. Um, so it's definitely a possibility. Not saying that's something that will happen, but uh, just something to keep in mind as we continue over the weekend. Um, and that's pretty much it guys. I think we covered the majority of the of the stuff we wanted to cover here today for this weekend That's kind of the trade setups that we're watching over the weekend um, And that we'll be looking to enter and some of them that we've entered already So um, the last two weekends in a row uh, the last two videos we've done on Fridays We've hit on 100% of our trade setups that we that we spoke about on Friday They hit they've hit hundred percent on all of them for the past two weekends so we're trying to make it three weeks in a row um i just told you guys all the entries that we're looking at here let's see how they work out and we'll do a recap on them on monday um so that's pretty much it guys um we'll do a question of the day today uh the question of the day is uh what are the entries for bitcoin that uh, we're looking at this weekend and that's pretty much it, guys. Um, make sure to hit that follow, guys. Make sure to subscribe. Make sure to like this video and uh, hit that notification bell. Um, answer that question of the day. Put it in the comments and then make sure to hit that like so that once we get that 20, 20 likes on this video, it will trigger that giveaway that we do, which is one free month in our trade group, which is a $70 value. So um, that's pretty much it, guys. Thank you so much. I hope you guys have an amazing weekend and you make amazing profits. As always, peace and love.